Thanks for tuning in. and welcome back. We are currently in route to Moab and we're driving through a winter storm advisory so it's already been an exciting one. The last time you saw us we were in Sedona just to catch you up a little bit because we had a habit of not picking up the camera at all. Bryce had his 40th birthday. Yay! I'm and, old. <laughs> and we tried to do some fun things but it just ended up being kind of a day and then after that we headed towards St. George and we found some new awesome BLM to camp with some biking trails and then we headed towards our favorite nomadic place Escalante and went to the Outfitters to get the most delicious pizza. If you want to know more about that area we'll link up some old videos that we took so that way we're not beating a dead horse or I guess Amy and Caleb don't like that phrase. <laughs> Being a shouldn't beat anything. <laughs> Dead or alive. <laughs> massaging a live horse. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so our plan for today is just to find a spot in Moab. Bryce wants to do some van upgrades. I have to do a long run for my training. And maybe we'll find some cool adventures while we're there. On that note, I'm going to focus on the road since we are in a winter advisory. And we'll see you in Moab. Dogs are getting pretty wild. Cecil needs to get some movement in her body. Kane's also pretty restless. Found this random spot where we see a bunch of off-road vehicles. So we're gonna pull out here and just go on a dog walk. <laughs> I don't know what the trail's gonna look like at all, but it looks like people are out here adventuring. So there has to be something. You ready for a walk? So we're just outside Goblin Valley. It's a really cool area, but it's very desolate. It kind of makes you feel like you're on another planet. Yeah, there's a lot of like lunar. Yeah. You know, everything's called lunar this and lunar that. And it, it very much feels that way. Not in this particular area, uh, but in all the areas where there's like gray rocks and sand and stuff. It's super interesting. Yeah, this feels like Mars. Yeah, very Mars-ish. I haven't seen any goblins yet though. <laughs> Oh, careful, careful. I don't know if this is a telltale sign that Cecil needs more leash training or what. I really think she's the goblin in this valley. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we made it to Moab. Once we got here, we took Cecil to the dog park and we took Kane for a walk just to get them more exercise. But to be transparent, I don't know, I'm so tired right now and I just have no motivation to keep filming today. <laughs> Jen has been so crabby that you guys really don't want us to keep filming. So <laughs> she just needs to get some sleep. We'll wake up in Moab. She can get a run in and feel good. But uh, yeah. today also looks really nice out. It's beautiful after we got through that blizzard. However, it has like 30, 40 mile per hour wind. And so it's been actually really awful to be outside. So we're hoping that maybe it will die yeah. down later today and be able to get a quick bike in or something. But I think for now, we're just gonna clean up and Jen is gonna get a little bit of sleep and we're gonna wake up happier tomorrow and yeah. try to have more fun. Yeah, I just feel like Bryce needs an award for keeping up with me. It might not seem like I'm uh, a grizzly bear right now, but off camera, I definitely am. And it's nothing to do with him. It's just literally, I just am so crabby from being so tired. She's snappy, <laughs> but we all get that way, right? I mean, especially when sleep is at a minimum some days. Yeah. I'm such a baby today. Like, I don't want to go outside because I want to be sandblasted. It's just really excuses. And I just yep. need a reset, like physically, mentally. So that's where I'm at. But we did discuss that maybe we'll just bring you along through this week of being in Moab instead of just doing a day. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be fun. So yeah. we'll uh, catch you tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> Welcome back. So Jen is feeling a little bit better after going through some crabbies. I think we all get there uh, with this lifestyle. It's it's not as glamorous as it really appears on Instagram. There's definitely little moments where it seems amazing. You're in these just exquisite places, but a lot of the day-to-day -day is actually extremely hard. So I guess I wouldn't mind just showing you guys a little bit more of that because that's kind of the realistic nomadic travel life. But uh, today is a town trip day and I want to get some stuff done in the van, got to refill our water, go get some groceries, go to the gym, take the dogs for walks and all that sort of stuff. So we're just gonna take you along for it. All right, let's go. All right, that's all I had time for. Five minute wash. For those of you out there that don't know, I'm sure most do, always get the salt off your vehicle. That's the number one thing that will damage it over time. And it doesn't take long either. Take something that's not painted and get a little salt on it, some water, boom, rust, right overnight, right in front of your eyes. We just arrived to the park here in Moab. This is kind of our home base, pretty much when we aren't out on BLM land. I have a couple more meetings to knock out and Jen is gonna go for a run and take the dogs for a walk, I think is the plan. Oh God, you said the word.
Go on. Come on. you cannot stay and it's been too much for anyone to take and you've outgrown me and all my way and I can't find a way to keep you in this space and I, I, I Wish you were and so But I'm your home base Your own and stone And you're all alone Cute, cute All right, well, it's been one heck of a day So we are finally gonna get to eat It is... Oh! <laughs> Excuse you. It's the loudest dog burp I've ever heard. Um, it's 8.41, so I'm really hungry. And if I don't eat, I will get the hankies. And Bryce will be in a world of hurt. <laughs> so, we have our really large amount of food. And I think we're going to call it a night after that. But the week is not over yet. We have tomorrow and we are thinking of maybe doing Slick Rock, which if you don't know, is a famous biking trail around here. And Bryce has done it once and I haven't done it. So I think he wants to see my misery on it compared to how he felt when he did it. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, we will see you tomorrow. As you can see, we have bike helmets on, which means we made it to Slick Rock. This is a nemesis for me. Uh, the last time I did it, it was right after doing the whole enchilada, which for a lot of people is a completely bucket list ride. It's something like 30 miles of downhill. And then the next day, a friend and I, you know who you are, <laughs> took me to Slick Rock. And Slick Rock is a brutal bike ride, if I remember right, of just moon dust, to crawling up slick rock to bombing down into moon dust and back and forth rinse and repeat for like 10 miles so i'm kind of dreading it and uh him and i have been joking about coming back here and doing it again for all these years and here we are so instead jen and i are going to knock this out today <laughs> and i have not done this before i've only seen videos of it and my legs are feeling a little tired from all my runs this week so we will see how well, I do chugging up Slick Rock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get out there and get after it. <laughs> Woo!
oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, okay, yeah. This trail is very humbling. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so beep. We just walked up this insane section. There's no way I could've got up it. Even with the e-bike at the bottom, it was so rocky and gnarly, and there was so much exposure, both on the left and right side. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. It's fun to try some like new difficulties, but also manage the thought like that could hurt you. <laughs> I'm just really stoked to be out here. It is so beautiful and I haven't been on this side of Moab before and I'm just so happy. I don't even care how hard this is. I'm just so happy that this is. I don't know. I can't even get a real It's like a real Moab experience. Yeah. And also the LaSalle are just breathtaking. And this wind is... No, that's mine. Okay, I'm gonna keep eating. Stop talking about the scenery and how much I love it. <laughs> Each other. <laughs> I didn't know that was a video. I was like, <laughs> my performance piece is over. <laughs> okay. the person that ran six miles and then just did slick rock. Yeah, good puppies. Hi. Yes, you're a good girl. Hi. Hi. Oh. Wow. That was so aggressive. You got a lot of energy I left. I guess. Wow. That was uh, not as bad as I remember it, but <sighs> the wind made it pretty hard especially on the way back i thought it was gonna end up being really brutal because once we actually got to the loop i was like oh <laughs> 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 we're not even like to the five mile loop but the five mile loop actually was a lot of fun it was a lot of hard work but i'm glad we did it <sighs> and i'm just glad that we finally got some real adventure in Moab, especially because in the beginning of the week when we got here, I was just so stressed out and crabby and just not in a good headspace. But I'm glad that we took this week to kind of do things that we enjoy. Like I got back to my routine of running, we worked with Cecil on some things, and we got to get outside and explore. So it just reminded me that just because how your week starts does not mean how it has to end. Yes. Yeah. And I'm very happy to be doing a little bit less running <laughs> and a little bit more biking, especially out here. Cause yeah. man, the bike trails just, they're just on another level. It's hard to describe. Each one is so uniquely different that it feels like a video game level. <laughs> yeah. You know, where you go to a different stage and you're like, wow, this is like, we're on Mars now, you know? Yeah. And Slick Rock is just something where 
you have all this ATV energy, they're rock claw crawling up all these weird features and you're there trying to like bomb down or crank up and it's just like, it is, it is so Moab. <laughs> yeah, I really felt like I actually got the Moab energy this time around. Yeah. And I just am happy we got out there because today is actually our last day in Moab and we're gonna really start heading home. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to soak in this terrain and environment because it's gonna be completely different. But I am excited to get home and work on the cabin yeah. and just kind of get into a new routine with that, so. Yeah, I'm sure some of you guys are excited to see us back in the cabin doing some <laughs> of those projects too. But we're always really thankful and happy that you guys come along with us and we really hope that you've enjoyed these videos just because this is part of our life and right. we're really just trying to document these fun things for us to look back on and make it enjoyable for you to come along with us. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks for coming along with us today. Yeah. And on that note, Cecil says goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.